whole situation has made me realize is the things that I thought were absolutely essential are not. The opportunities are endless. They kind of have boundless um, different ways to do things and kind of learning how to do things differently and realizing that they have just as much value. The new normal, so to speak, is also incredibly valuable and it, it makes us um, see things differently and feel things differently. Things is the cool things about even coffee hour, our virtual coffee hour, there are people that maybe I wouldn't have connected with them, you know, in our regular coffee hour room, but it's kind of really random and we get to connect with people that maybe I wouldn't have gone up and said hi to or sat at their table per se. So that's been kind of cool to really get to experience interactions with people that maybe I would not have previously. It's really interesting. I find that even though I think the one thing it's so weird that I think that you realize how much time you spend rushing or, you know, like in regular time, there's a lot of rushing. I've now had the ability to be still a lot more than I, I did previously. And I think that sometimes in stillness, I feel like I hear God more. <laughs> I do. I feel it's funny because last night um, John's message during the Wednesday evening service was, you know, it was the, the loaves and fishes and, you know, that we really do have enough. And not only do we have enough, we have more than enough. I think it just feels really good. <laughs> what I'd really want my my St. Luke's family to know is that they are incredibly valuable to me. Um, that I feel like they have, you know, we haven't been at St. Luke's very long, but I feel very loved and supported by them. Um, and I think that it's really just an incredible group of people. It's an incredible environment. Um, and I feel that God is working in our midst. And that's, it's lovely to be a part of a community where you can feel love and passion and, you know, just working for a common good um, all together, and then also to feel supported in, in times of need as well. Um, and so I feel like that's, that's really incredible. And it's a really special place full of really special people um, and all surrounded, you know, and rooted in faith and, and the word of God, which is, which is awesome. I think, you know, it's a time of, fall is an interesting time. Um, it's uh, because it, it, it is a time of things ending. It's a beautiful time, but it's a time of things ending. We've been having people over um, who are sometimes people, often people who are in need, you know, people who are lonely, people who are going through struggles and and the gift that I think of hospitality is to in a sense make people feel that somebody cares for them. Tommy's Kitchen has is, is gone through really tremendous growth since COVID. They were operating at about 4,000 meals a week. It would they, would, they had a kitchen and people would come and they would eat, and et cetera. And then almost dramatically, um, it expanded to 24,000 meals a week. So it went from 4,000 to 24,000, like almost immediately. I didn't realize how close to the edge many people are in terms of needing some of the basic fundamental things and you know i i, I thought to myself I, I really i really want to try and help wherever i can i said and i said to my wife I said, you know what other thing can we do that christ is telling us to do rather than feed the hungry that is fundamental to pretty much everything we do so how much in this time period that we're in people really need help and not just hey let me come over and uh, you know help you move a sofa but i'm talking about you know gut level help whatever if you're hungry and you don't have any money call tony's kitchen they can help. 
things like coffee hours and uh, of course the eight o'clock has a, a really reduced coffee hour which i love um and the music and and, and everything that uh that involves our, our church community that's the anticipation of that i think i think we're, we'll all do we will all be fine um if we just take care of one another.